picked this motor up at a garage sale. Really a before garage sale for friends and family. It's a quarter horsepower, four pole. I had to actually take it apart to verify that it was split face. It almost sounds like a repulsion start motor <laughs> when it uh, is thrown across the line. Very difficult to make out that nameplate, but uh, HG brand as near as I can tell. 110 volt only, actual 110, not 115. And uh, when I had it apart, as I kind of suspected, not only are the two leads right here going into the motor off of these terminals, but there's leads connected directly to the terminals in the back. And so reversing these two leads on the posts should uh, reverse the direction of rotation by uh, reversing the relative polarities of the start and run windings. Came with this pretty cool base too that uh, the motor sits in. It's got these thumb screws here that lets you really tighten it down and adjust it I guess. It's got one for adjusting belt tension here. It's kind of an interesting looking motor. Big heavy castings. Kind of cool grill work on both ends. Now let's see. Uh, here it start. Sounds pretty nice. Hit the switch here. It's not too bad. That's a split phase motor I can live with. They're my least favorite to collect, but uh, that's pretty cool. Could have its uses. Anything with low starting torque requirements. It's kind of got an unusual centrifugal switch design inside of it. But uh, it's kind of nice when it's running. You can tell that nothing touches. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I've never seen one like it. And uh, I haven't really oiled it much yet. So it coasts down pretty quickly. And that sound is the centrifugal switch. That would probably be a little better with some lubricant too. It needs to be cleaned out and everything. But uh, it should be pretty cool. Add to the collection. So uh, I wasn't able to get that pulley off of there. I wanted to so I could separate the, you know, pull the end bell off the shaft, but not gonna come off yet. The uh, squirrel cage rotor is actually uh, built up with copper instead of the usual cast aluminum in the uh, in the iron core. That's kind of neat. You can always tell the oldies by that. So that's it for this motor. How about one more start? That sounds pretty dang cool for a uh, <laughs> split phase. <laughs> Probably sounds extra good because it's sitting on this plywood kitchen counter subtop. <laughs> Got a nice sound to it.